Again, everyone, uh, Lupo Brewing Company back for another review. Uh, tonight we got a special one, Sam Adams Infinium. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a uh, nice wintry night outside, got some snow coming down, and uh, this is their 2011 edition. Um, it's a champagne style beer, uh, so it's light, it's crisp, it's got a dry aftertaste to it. And um, it actually, it was a link between Sam Adams and uh, the Weissensteifener Brewery in Germany. And uh, that's the oldest brewery around. They brew some of the best beers in the country. So, you know, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting. Um, not really sure what to expect exactly. I've never had a champagne style beer like this. So, yeah, let's do it. Nice little uh, cork stopper there. It's badged with the Sam Adams uh, on top. Okay. Now I'm not really sure what to expect gushing wise, so I'm gonna make sure it doesn't uh, get over my laptop. <laughs> Okay, it's open. We got some smoke. I don't know if you guys can see that. Probably not. Um, now again, I mean, I'm really not sure what to expect of this. Uh, they've been brewing it for a couple years now. Uh, I'm I'm a skeptic on it just because I'm a I'm a I'm a beer fan, beer beer fan. You know, I, I don't I don't like gimmicks. So got my champagne glass right here. And that's crystal champagne glass and. Uh, Let's see what it's like. Okay, lots of head, lots of head. It's very fruity. I mean, there's a lot of fruits in here. Um, you smell the dry in the uh, in the after the after smell. It, it's dry in your nose, so you can tell it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a little bit of uh, dry. Uh, bite to it at the end. It's almost tangy, you can say. Um, it's it's going to be interesting. Uh, the head is, I mean, it's, it's, it's heavy foam. Um, it's not too heavy though, where it's like a stout, but it's still, uh, it's still a good, still a good, uh, good head for what kind of beer it is. So here we go. Wow, that's interesting. That's uh, it's probably the most interesting beer I've had before. Uh, um, I mean, it confuses your taste buds. I would have to say, uh, every sip, it is. It's a confuse. It's, it confuses your taste buds. I'm almost. You know. Of course, it has higher alcohol content, so you can tell. But it's hidden well. It is. It's hidden pretty well. And the beer, the beer is there. You can taste beer. It's not just champagne or hard alcohol. Um, you you taste you taste the beer in the back, and uh, I would have to say it does have that dry the dry effect on your mouth. Um, smells incredible, and uh, the taste is good. It's it's um, it's got a bite, not too bad. It's got some. Uh, it's I can taste some hops in there. Um, it might be a little a little over hoppy. Uh, remember, this is an ale, so it tends to happen, especially from Sam Adams. You know, overall, I mean, a uh, good twenty bucks spent. Um, I, I I would probably I would probably buy this again. Uh, for you know a party or something like that uh, buy a couple bottles for some people um, I wouldn't buy it just to drink uh, nightly or by yourself overall I would have to give this I'd have to give this about a C plus uh, maybe a B minus but most likely not um, I'm not I, I knew I wasn't gonna be impressed so it's not a surprise but uh, 
you know, it's pretty, it, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It does, it does a good job at what it's supposed to do. And, uh, well, happy brewing. Uh, enjoy your beer. Uh, we'll have a couple more beers coming up tonight, including our, uh, Golden Cloud, the, uh, loophole brewing company special. So that'll be exciting. Uh, have a good night.